The watch list for the upcoming week of April 5th through 9th is starting off with Amazon. And so these will all be on the, uh, the daily charts. But uh, this is bouncing perfectly off of the 200 EMA, which you can see the last time it did that was uh, down here, right before it had this massive surge upwards going from 1850 to 32, basically. Um, and so we really want to watch this because it's also breaking out of the daily chart here. So this level here is going to be crucial. It needs to hold this. You can see that it was rejected by the 34 EMA last time it touched it. So uh, it looks like 3173 is going to be a tough price for it. Um, but if it can break through, this should continue up, in which case we have the next resistance up here. Um, and then another thing that I noticed was the RSI. So I have these two spots marked out. This is the last time that the RSI was uh, at this level here, which is in the, the low 30s. And that is exactly where it's at right now. So they were both at the exact same spot. They're at 31.52. And the time that it reclaimed the uh, the bullish, you know, over 50 number, it had this same move that it's having off of the 200 EMA. So Amazon is going to be the number one, uh, the number one thing to watch, mainly for, I mean, the first two weeks of, of April, but this upcoming week should kind of give us a sentiment as to how strong it's going to be. Um, so the next one is going to be e eBay. So again, e-commerce. Uh, and so with eBay, we have this very wide cup, which is nice because we don't have any uh, rapid movements. We have a lot of strong price action going on throughout it. And along with that, we have this fib being broken. Um, so you can see it came up and retested up here, got rejected and now it worked its way back up and now it's back over. So we just need to make sure that it can hold over 61. And if it doesn't, then we'll just reevaluate it. But as long as it can hold over 61, um, I'm very confident that this one's going to continue and we just need to make sure that it can get over 64 from this point. So this is going to be the level to watch. So let me just mark that really quick. So this 64 area is going to be the, the level to watch. But as you see, the RSI is curling up. Um, the vortex is a little bit uh, wide, but that is confirming that we're in a bullish trend as well. They're not curling back towards each other. So this is something that you want to see on the vortex. Uh, this can keep going up into... Uh, overextended territory, which would be like this line here. So, uh, and look at the increase it had for that to become overextended. So that's what we want to see going on with, with this vortex. We want to see it come up to the 140, 150 area, which, uh, which I think it's going to be doing. So that's eBay. Then we'll move on to Costco and with Costco. Uh, so let's move over to the weekly. Um, and so with the weekly, we've got a, uh, sorry, we've got a little bit of a, a cup here and sorry, let's move back down to daily. We have this bull flag breaking out. Um, so we have this huge cup forming on the, the daily chart. Uh, this was a bear flag forming here that it broke out of. And now we have this this very nice looking bull flag. So as soon as we can get over this fib here at 358, uh, the next target would be 372. Um, and what's nice about this fib is it's at a previous point of resistance. So that kind of gives us some confirmation into it. So um, Costco is up there. It doesn't have too many confluences, but it does look good enough to, to include. And then Visa. Same thing, we're just coiling up here. Um, on the daily, we have this huge pennant forming. Um, RSI is cro crossing into bullish territory, but as you can see, it did go past this resistance point and then it wicked back down. So I would assume that we'll drop back down, maybe not to 206, because we have the point of control here, which is heavy, heavy price action. So this is all liquidity. Uh, maybe 208, 210 is where we fall back down to before pushing up higher. But on the off chance that this does break out and keep going, you will want to see this 220 area broken. <clears throat> so if we can break 220, uh, this would be an excellent entry point. And that's on, on Visa. So on Kneetap, we have a cup, handle, breakout, and it's holding this resistance line. 
And from there, we can see that it is pushing up. And so this is a very, this candle here is very bullish. Um, we've got this, this hanging man candle and this long wick shows that it tried to dip back down to this resistance point, support point. It bounced back up and then it closed up here. So hopefully tomorrow, which is historically a bearish day, um, hopefully we can get a strong open and push up from there. But if not, then I have confidence that on Tuesday we should. So uh, keep in mind, most of these will be going on Tuesday just because tomorrow should be a uh, overall red day based on, based on history. So the win um, is again an EMA trade. So it seems to respect this pink line is the uh, 34 EMA, which it kind of seems to respect the most. So, um, or this is the, the 50, the green is the 34. And so both of these are being respected the most. Every time it goes underneath the 34 and the, uh, the 50, it seems to be bouncing off it pretty nicely. So we have uh, exactly that happening here. It didn't dip beneath it, it bounced off. So we just need to make sure it can hold this point of control line here, which is at 125.77. So a break over 130, 131. Um, if we could hold over this, this resistance line, I would, uh, I would take entry on that. And for the last one, this is a trade that we're actually already in, but it still is, uh, is going to be great for, for entry. So it's breaking out of this W pattern here on the daily. We have resistance here at 135.58 and we actually entered on the, uh, we entered down here um, and it broke through on Thursday. So now we just need to wait. Hopefully tomorrow is the retest and it comes down test 135 again before pushing up. But as you can see, the RSI is curling back up. Um, this is a really nice cup on the RSI, which is what you wanna see. The vortex is crossing over showing bearish or uh, bullish strength. So this is throwing a buy signal on the vortex. And uh, let's just add our, uh, our rays here. As you can see, perfectly in the middle, it's crossing over and now it's heading up into this territory here. And so each time it's up there, it's been making really nice peaks. Um, so it's over all the major EMAs. Uh, next one is the 50. And so if it can get past that, then uh, we have a lot of strength going into this number here, 150, it should be a round number, yeah. So this 150 area is gonna be um, crucial, but until then we have a 13 point move.